In the alternate version of exercise 8-18, we shift gears a little bit from focusing on plant assets instead to introduce the concept of a natural resource. Montana Mining Company has purchased an ore deposit, fits within the category of a natural resource. It's something where they're physically consuming the property as they use it. I mean, they didn't purchase this property to build retail stores on or expand their location upon. Um, this is something where they bought the property specifically for the ore that they can mine and then sell to their customers. We're asked to prepare entries to record both the depletion for the ore deposit. Keep in mind, depletion is very similar to the concept of depreciation. It's just simply the cost allocation. So we're trying to take that $3,618,260 purchase price and allocate it to expense over time. So very similar to the concept of depreciation for plant assets, we use depletion for natural resources. In addition, we'll get to a little bit later, there's a piece of mining machinery that's installed and we also have to record depreciation related to that mining machinery. Now let's focus first on the depletion. Again, let's figure out how we properly allocate the cost of this ore deposit. Well, it starts out very similar and looks a lot like units of production for plant assets. So when we take cost minus salvage value and divide it by our estimated or total units of capacity that we estimate in terms of tons. So the overall original cost of the ore deposit was $3,618,260. We read through here, it's estimated there's no salvage value. So we'll subtract out zero. Once they mine all the ore, this property is useless. Divide it by the estimated capacity or what we think that we're going to mine in terms of tons. And they indicate that they believe or estimate that they can mine 1,525,000 tons. So $3,618,260 divided by 1,520,000 tons is going to give us a per ton charge, depletion charge of $2.37. Now this is what's consistent about it is the per ton charge is going to be the same. Every single ton of ore that they mine and sell to their customers, they're going to charge $2.37 in depletion expense on their income statement. So how do we figure out depletion expense for the year? Take the per ton charge of $2.37, multiply it times the total tons they actually mined, in the remaining months of 2016, which is 185,400 tons, so $2.37 per ton times $185,400 equals a total depletion expense of $439,398 in 2016. And I will note they mentioned they both mined and sold all of those tons of ore in 2016. So what does the journal entry look like? Well, it looks very similar to a journal entry for depreciation expense, except for we don't debit depreciation expense, we debit depletion expense. Noted that it's related to mineral deposit, debiting it for $439,398. Just like accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account, the contra asset account to our natural resource is going to be accumulated depletion, mineral deposit. We'll credit it for $439,398. Now, I will note, like your chapter mentioned, this is how the entry works out if we both mine and sell all of the inventory. It all gets expense because this is going to be then consumed by our customers. They purchased it. It becomes part of our sales. If, on the other hand, 50% of it was sold and the other 50% was left in inventory to sell to our customers, then we change this entry around a little bit and half of the $439,398 would be debited to depletion expense. The other half will be debited to some type of asset like or inventory until the point at which we sell it. We can't record it as an expense until it actually becomes a sale and our customers receive it until that point it would be an asset. 
Now let's go ahead and move on to the second part that we're asked. It's repair and entry related to depreciation on our mining machinery. They mention that they installed machinery in the mine costing $213,400 with an estimated seven year life and no salvage value. Now, even though this machinery is utilized within our natural resource, the ore deposit, it's still considered to be a plant asset. Okay, this machinery is still considered to be a plant asset. Because of that, we allocate the cost using depreciation expense. So even though it's used for the mine, still a plant asset, still recording depreciation expense. There's some important information that we need to note is the machinery is going to be abandoned when the ore is completely mined. That impacts the entries and calculations we need to make. If that item, that machinery, that plant asset is going to be of no value when we're finished with that natural resource in this situation being the ore deposit, then we depreciate it on the same basis utilizing units of production, utilizing the same total units of capacity that we did with the natural resource itself. If not, and it's something where we can move that asset, and sometimes machinery or equipment can be moved to another location, then we would look at whatever method made the most sense. Maybe it's straight line, we can use the whole entire useful life of seven years. But because this piece of machinery is basically tied and, and useless, it's tied to this ore deposit and useless afterwards, we're going to depreciate it much the same way with units of production. So for units of production, we take cost minus salvage value divided by total units of capacity. Our cost of our machinery is 213400 It's going to be abandoned, you know, so salvage value is going to be zero. Divided by the total capacity of the mine is 1,000, or excuse me, 1,525,000 tons. 213400 divided by 1,525,000 tons is going to be 14 cents per ton. So for the machinery, we're using units of production, every single unit of ore mined. We're going to charge the machinery 14 cents worth of depreciation. So take that 14 cents per ton of depreciation times the actual 185,400 tons that were mined. That means depreciation expense in 2006 for the machinery is 25,956. Journal entries are very similar to what we've seen in the past. Debit depreciation expense machinery for 25,956 and credit accumulated depreciation machinery for 25,956. Again, it's tied to the mine. It, it means we use basically the same cost allocation basis, but we still consider it to be a plan asset and we still consider it to be depreciation.